Ready? Yeah! The disease of mosquitoes carry our threat to us. Bats can solve our problems. The people have negative thoughts towards bats. We need to come up with a solution or we can both benefit. Two boys are playing outside and encounter both mosquitoes and bats. Let's see what happens. Ouch, a mosquito bit me. They are so annoying. What if they kill me? No, I'm just going to die. What happens? A mosquito bit me. Look, there's a bat. What if it bites in my hair? Mom, there's a bat out here. Help. Somebody call 911. What is your emergency? This girl is on fire. Um, nobody is on fire. Oh, yeah. Anyway, my son is covered in mosquito bites. The bat is trying to manage them. Hurry, help, send the police. It doesn't sound like an emergency. Is this a joke? No, this is not a joke. My children are in trouble. Calm down now, I'm sending someone who can help. Hurry! Finally, you're here. You seem to be the problem, ma'am. I'm covered in mosquito bites. And there are bats everywhere. Is this a joke? No, this is not a joke. My children are in trouble. Actually, I think they're quite fine. Mosquito bites are generally harmless. In fact, very rarely harm humans. Really? really? I mean, yes, they're fine. In fact, bats are helpful. They eat to a thousand mosquitoes per hour. This is helpful for you because mosquitoes can carry malaria, Zika, yellow fever, and other diseases. Bats are a friend. Sadly, there are many misconceptions and myths about bats. Some people believe that bats are vampires. And and aren't they? No, no, they're not. But don't bats have rabies? And Actually, very few bats have rabies. In fact, more people have died by contracting rabies from household pets. Furthermore, bats are not violent. Bats are more afraid of you than you are afraid of them. A very common myth is that bats fly into your hair. <laughs> bats have no intention or desire to fly into human hair. Like I said, they are afraid of humans and don't try to get near us. We personally surveyed over 100 people, and 26% of them had misconceptions of bats. We've been talking to the Thinkinators, how we can positively portray bats to society and promote bats. And they've come up with an idea for a new and improved bat house. They've also started to promote the benefits of bats on social media. Hello, Hello Thinkinators. Oh. Hello. We recently have been working on this problem. We realized how mistreated bats were and that there are no bat houses that meet all of the bats' needs. That is why we wanted to create the Bat Shop, the perfect bat house. Fun Bats! Bat. Our resources include many bat surveys about World Sanctuary Organization and various websites of valuable information. We also interviewed Christy Shoemaker of Forest Park Nature Center and Jessica Slade of the URA Zoo for a total of four different resources. Basically, it is the perfect bat house. Many bat houses have some effective and unique features, but our house tries to incorporate all of them. Our bat house includes a pup catcher, which will catch the tiny and unstable pups. We have strategically made the net pattern to catch the pups while also having room for guano or bat food to fall to the ground. Ew. Furthermore, our houses have a slope groove to protect it from the elements and grooves inside the box so bats can easily cling to it. We use stainless steel because rain and urine would eventually rust regular metal and harm the bat. Another unique quality of our bat house is, a, is an optional webcam. It is built into the box so you can watch the bat anytime you want. The bat shack is made of recycled plastic material because it is more durable, environmentally friendly, and it also uses 50% thinner material. It is bigger than a standard bat house to be more comfortable and ideal for the bats, but also has side exits and vents instead of just in a hole in the bottom for bats to go in and out of. There is top and bottom attachment points to connect to the house. It comes in different com colors based on your temperature or climate region, and finally, it would be cheaper than other bat boxes because it uses less material and it is a kit. The low price would draw in buyers. We shared our solution idea with Christy Shoemaker, Chief Naturalist at the Forest Park Nature Center, Mr. Jorgensen, a member of the Sierra Club and head of the East Fury Green Team, District 86 school board members and staff, the Central Junior High School boys basketball team, and Bowling Grade School students. Wow, that sounds amazing. We could promote and sell these at our Nature Center. I am sure it will be a huge hit. We can also sell this on our Facebook page and in the local paper. I never realized bats could be so helpful. I have to get a bat shack right away, plus a kit aspect to make it a fun family activity. I love bats now because they, because they eat those pes pesky mosquitoes that give me awful bug bites. The mosquito is the most dangerous animal in the world, so bats are actually our hero. Let's promote bats and their contributions to the environment by using the Bat Shack! <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow. Oh.